All right, guys, Chris here with Mobtown Fishing. Uh, today I'm going to do like a little tie-on video. I can't go fishing. The weather is all iffy right now. We're on this quarantine and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm just going to do a uh, in-house. Y'all excuse my garage. It is so dirty. But um, we're just going to do a little bit of walk around and talking about what I use and why and everything right now and what's kind of working down here in Louisiana and Texas. So uh, get in it. Jesus, I shouldn't have talked. All right. So we just got done washing and waxing the boat. Not much. It's, um, God, I don't even know what year this thing is. I got to look at my registration. I bought it pretty cheap. But uh, show my compound, kind of what I use to keep it looking this good. She's looking good. Oh, yeah. Then there's our new Dodge and our crappy Dodge. Anyways, let's get into it. So, uh, I've been tearing them up here pretty recently. And uh, our biggest thing, like the color they're hitting right now, is a watermelon magic. So, let me, yeah, if y'all can't, I got all my stuff down here just kind of thrown here. So, y'all bear with me. But, uh, the flukes are tearing up just like a weightless fluke. I run it on my seven foot. Um, this is just some cheap rod because I keep breaking my die. was, but it's a seven foot. Yeah, it's a seven foot medium and just on a little finesse rig. But uh, run it weightless with a, a regular shank three aught hook. Where are you little scooters? There they are. It's the Zoom. Now, I wish I had the Megas, but these are just the regular uh, Super Flukes by Zoom. And I rig them little jokers up just weightless, toss them up. And it's pretty much like, we're so south here that now the spawn is pretty much done. It was done about two weeks ago and they're starting to push back out but those are killing right now what does that mean? i think oh i think my speaker died but those are killing right now uh just out in the open god you can run them anywhere and it's just dead sticking them you're just gonna throw it out there and let it sink to whatever depth you're at just a bump ever so lightly every now and then just give it a little life or action and uh, that, that's been killing big time. I haven't had anything on a frog all year at Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn, Bondic Lake in Louisiana. Sam Rayburn and T Toledo are both in Texas, but we're like super south here. So the spawn is a little different. I know I got a bunch of followers up in North Carolina where I was. Y'all are entering the spawn, if not a little bit later into it. So y'all should be hitting on right now. Maybe try those colors. I know Jordan Lake up at North Carolina would love those colors. Some I never tried, but the green pumpkin on the Fat Alberts were amazing up in North Carolina. But uh, another big one that I've had was this little joker right here. It's actually sent by um, Mr. Tacklebox. It's a super small, whoop, super, super small little black and blue finesse jig and god this thing is like so tiny look at the little bitty hook on that joker but i take that and uh this was killer in sam rayburn me and my little brother god we i probably hammered on four or five at least four pounders i'll link the, i'll put the videos in after this it'll just be a montage of me catching them and normally if you can zoom in and kind of see sorry i didn't do more on the baits when i caught the fish i'm gonna start doing that but um you can kind of see what i've been using but that little jig right there with ah, here it is it's made by z-man and i never thought it would hit as hard as it did but it's like a little craw bait and it's made for a ned rig which i've never used it on a ned rig i threw it on the back of that little finesse jig and man they would hit it on the fall every time just right off some grass or some lilies where that cover is the water was about 68 degrees and it's already getting really hot down here and just overcast day and they hit the mess out of these little jokers but 
you can kind of see how small they are. Just run that on the back of a black and blue jig. The water was super dirty because it just got done raining and they tore it up. And another one that I have been just absolutely killing them on, honey, y'all bear with me. I'm gonna do a continuous video only because my memory card has been eaten up with just random fish catches. And I've been trying to save up on it. Plus I'm low on battery on my camera. But another big killer, I bought it from a super small town. It's that little rattle trap right there. It's a different rattle trap. I think it's made by Strike King. I think it's a KVD Red Eye. But that's it. You can kind of see it there. Oh, look at that. I'm famous. But um, this thing is all eat up. This is my third one this year just from how many fish I've caught off of it. And the hooks are good. But, like, I locked y'all one fish and he opened his mouth and it just... Oh, that, that video will be in there. Uh, at Abundant Lake, I caught, like, a four-pounder off of this joker. Um... But this thing is just a blue back, silver, red eye rattle trap. And for some reason, they've been eating it up. I've been running the, you know, my stickler for classics. And I've been running the basic Rapala rattle trap. And, you know, I've tried, you know, the red spot. I've tried the solid silver black back. I've tried the crawl color. I haven't got diddly squat off a of crawl color all year here. And they've been hitting a mess out of that. I had one off of a, it was a, uh, well, Lord have mercy, there it is. It was a big, and I know it's just one fish, but God, I already snapped off two of these crankbaits because my tie is crap. Not crankbaits, Jesus, uh, spinnerbait. You can see here. A little gold willow blade and a silver Colorado blade and it's just a single hook and on the back of that I just rolled a solid pearl white rage swimmer not a rage swimmer correction is this crazy thing I don't know if they got them wherever y'all are from but it's a V&M and it's just got a bunch of sparkle a lot of the fish here you can tell by the watermelon magic uh, that craw bait, they like a lot of sparkle. And I think it's because the water is just in that mixture of we're gonna be dirty, but at the same time, we're gonna be pretty clear. Some parts of the lake are really clear. Some parts of the lake are really dirty, especially up in the fingers right after it uh, rains. They love that shad. That's when they like these spinner baits and stuff. And uh, this right here seemed to do the trick. And I've bought several packs of these. I don't know if y'all get them where you're from, order them off the internet, but they're pretty awesome. I ordered, I got these from, it's called the Tackle Box. I don't know if you're in and around the Ritter, Louisiana, or down here in the super south of Louisiana, close to Texas, about 14 miles from Texas. But uh, these right here do really, really good. And if I'm running just regular swim bait, I do a like three eighths ounce jig head and then a rage swimmer. I love the rage swimmers. And I'm not a big fan on swim baits. But uh, I'm, I'm slowly pushing into them. But um, also, if you're flipping docks, everybody likes to flip docks. I love flipping docks. I take a Texas rig, and I'm pretty sure everybody, they're the new hotness right now. The trench hogs. There we go. I don't know if you're going to still see me, but uh, I run these. I got a bunch of trench hogs. They're my favorite. These are my June bugs. Ah, here they are. It's the Okeechobee Crawl. Now, these Okeechobees, you know, I love the trench hogs because they're so versatile. But this little joker right here, what I would do is I'd Texas rig them on my dial just with like a, a lightweight, just enough, you know, if the water's moving heavy, especially if I'm flipping docks. I love this joker right here. Except I use like a 4 rot EWG hook. Something big. Because... I want my action to be here or lower. Then I take just the tails and I fold them in and I throw them in some garlic chartreuse, like dip dye. And it just adds a little stink to it to where they like that stuff. Uh, also with that darker water, it adds you a little bit of color. But that right there has been doing real good on docks. And I just, I hop it. I must run it like a jig. 
or like a, a drop shot. And I'll touch on that too. I've been getting a lot of fish off of drop shots, a lot of spotted bass. But um, I take that trench hog and I just, just jig it around all over the docks. And I love dock fishing. If you go to Sam Rayburn, you know there's not a lot of docks on Sam Rayburn. So I really don't throw that big of a bait. It's like a six inch bait on a Texas rig. So I normally don't throw that big of a bait. But also, I haven't really fished docks on Sam Rayburn. But Toledo Bend, let me tell you, those docks, money. Take a whopper plopper. I, use a, I don't even know if I got still tied up. I got about 10 rods right here that I use and here y'all can see if you want got a bunch of rods and uh that's pretty much what i had from this last weekend me and my little brother we went tore it up but um i think i walked the poppers right in here the one i've been killing on the most i caught about a four pounder out of bundick lake here in louisiana of uh, this little joker right here it looks like a frog shads type deal just a whopper plopper i know they're expensive but man do they work i got a black one if the water's super murky and you know i got a lot of structure a lot of lily pads grass or went right on the edge that thing is money but uh and then my popper right next to it but oh bliss also if y'all are looking for a good weight let me tell you titan tungsten set me up this year um if y'all don't know who they are go and look them up here's their logo it's called Titan Tungsten. And man, them jokers talk about good weights. I get everything from my flipping and punching weights all the way down my little worm weights on my drop shot here. I use their stealth weight. Now, right now, I guess the, the Roner virus, they got them um, all their, their round eye stealth shots, their egg weights and stuff like that. They're all bought out. And man, they can't keep them on a the shelf because they're really good weights. They're non chip. They're just. They're definitely what you want. Uh, a lot of boys have been tearing them up on wacky rigs, especially here in Texas. So y'all might want to look into that. But that was just kind of, of a quick run around. I'm going to throw a lot of fishing videos or me catching fish. There's a lot of hook sets and and uh, boat flips and stuff like that at the end of this video. And I know it's kind of a rough thing. I haven't done a video in months. But uh, that's because I've been moving and, God, they sent us off to... Kuwait and then most of my other boys are over in Iraq right now so I had to come down I'm active duty military so I had a PCS all the way down here to Louisiana so that's kind of why I've been so sparse on um, on uh, YouTube but um, I kind of keep up a little bit more with my Instagram page mob town fishing and that's what it is it's mob town underscore fishing on Instagram so y'all gotta follow that it's uh, I post a lot more on there than I do on my YouTube as of right now, but I'm gonna keep going. I know I got a lot of people ask me to finally make one of these videos on like a time video and I'll start doing more of the basic stuff and get more into the advanced and, and why I do what and where. But uh, I appreciate y'all and all y'all following and everything that you do, please make recommendations, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I mean, if y'all wanna see more, tell me what you wanna see and why or whatever you wanna know. So y'all just let me know and uh, also look up Keep It Real Fishing. Pretty good dude. He's gonna give me uh, this shirt. They sent me a bunch of stuff. Really good apparel. And uh, he's just a good down home feller. So y'all look him up. And also, y'all just let me know what you want. Because I'll do it, I'll make it. I go fishing every single day. Y'all want me fishing Louisiana more, I will. Y'all want me fishing Texas more, I will. You just let me know. Anyways, my name's Chris from Mobtown Fishing. Y'all be safe.
Hey, he bit me. <laughs> yeah, he did. I got both my hands off in there and he done chomped me. Thanks, bud. Look at there. <coughs> that old large mouth. How about that? There you go. Not a little one today. Boom. Come here. Oh, look at that hook set, y'all. Perfect. The old brush hog flipped it right on a little top over there. Pop down in there. Come here. Find help. And a noble one. I forgot I had the camera off there. Little baby one. Well, let me get it at your side, buddy. Ran in trap again. I love the color. These Texas bass have a whole different color to them. North Carolina. Mouths aren't as big either. But beautiful fish. Nice. There he is. I got him. Oh yeah, good one too. Come here, mother. Yeah. Hey yo. Look at that. Not a bad one. I forgot, I just, oh, oh yeah, how's it going? Oh. Woo, look at that joker, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah. Three pounds. That's three pounds. The old trusty Kripalus here. Eh. Right under three.
tela. Front flip. Go. That's what I'm talking about right there on the trench hog. Big one. Look at that. Thank you. Got a little thing on his eye. Let's watch him go back home. All right, old bud. There you go. There's that huge black squirrel. Got it there. On the flute. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hook sharp. Got me. Look at that. Number one. Tiny little thing, look at that. 